Hey everyone, welcome to OC5. Last year, we talked about how our long-term goal was to help get a billion people into virtual reality. So let's start off by checking in on how that's going. <laughs> All right. We think that there are a few key qualities that any VR system that gets to scale needs to have. So first, it needs to be standalone. No wires that are gonna break your feeling of presence and you're gonna be able to take it with you. Second, it's gotta support hands because that's gonna be how we interact with people and objects in a natural way in virtual reality. And third, it has to offer six degrees of freedom. So you can not just look around, but you can also walk around and move through a virtual space just like you would in a physical one. We've been working on this for years now. And at Connect, for the past couple of years, you've heard me talk about Project Santa Cruz. We have some news for you. I am excited to announce Oculus Quest. It is shipping in the spring, and it is going to cost $3.99. This is the all-in-one VR experience that we have been waiting for. Full inside-out tracking, full freedom to move around, no cables, no external sensors. It's got adjustable fit, so it's comfortable to wear with glasses. It's got built-in 360 audio, and it runs Rift quality experiences. And it is shipping with touch controllers to deliver the same hand presence that you get with Rift. We're gonna be able to work with all of you to bring a lot of the most successful games from Rift to Oculus Quest, including Robo Recall, The Climb, and Moss, just to name a few. And we're gonna have more than 50 titles available at launch. Guardian is what helps keep you safer while you're in VR. And Oculus Insight supports multi-room Guardian. You can easily take your headset to different parts of your home, your friend's home, or your office, and it will remember the Guardian setup for each of those spaces. Oculus Quest is an all-in-one VR system. You can forget about wires, PCs, and phones. It's just you and your hands, completely free and immersed. Every move you make in the real world translates right into the game you're playing. When you grab, swing, or cast a spell, Introducing Oculus Quest. As many of you may know, ILMX Lab is Lucasfilm's immersive entertainment division. At Star Wars Celebration in 2016, we announced that we were working on a virtual reality project about Darth Vader. Today, I'm really excited to announce that Oculus is our premier partner for the series. You'll be able to step inside the world of Star Wars in the comfort of your own living room. Our three-part series takes place between Revenge of the Sith and A New Hope. In this experience, you'll be able to travel to the fiery planet Mustafar and actually enter Darth Vader's castle. You'll get an up-close look into the mind of one of the world's most infamous villains. You'll actually get to take an active role in this as-yet-untold story. We're really excited to share the first glimpse of Episode 1, debuting as a launch title on Oculus Quest. There's something wrong, Captain. I need you in the cockpit now. You may wonder why I have brought you here. So there's Oculus Go, the most affordable way to experience VR for the first time. There's Oculus Quest, the all-in-one VR experience that we've been waiting for. And there is Rift, for experiences that need a PC to push the edge of what's possible. That ass how you change the game. In just two and a half years, you've given us over 1,100 Rift titles. And we're already working with developers on games launching well into 2020. The market is growing. Just look at Orbis VR, one of VR's first and most successful MMOs, 
where players have spent over 440,000 hours since the game's launch in December. Orbis VR is launching a massive expansion early next year with beautiful new visuals, highly customizable avatars, and much more. Vox Machina. Join up to 16 players as you pilot a giant robot in this super mech simulator and lead your team to victory. The team behind this game received one of the first Oculus grants we ever gave in 2014. And they've come a long way. So we're excited to announce that they are launching today. Even though we're still in the early days of VR, many developers are on their second, third, and even fourth Rift titles. They are building on top of what they've learned, producing bigger and better games like Ubisoft. And later this year, they're launching Space Junkies. Yeah, this is awesome stuff. Space Junkies is a first-person multiplayer space shooter where you gear up with insane weapons and battle your opponents in intense zero-gravity duels. Insomniac Games has also given us a lot of enjoyment over the years. And coming in 2019, Stormland. This action-packed adventure game lets you walk, run, climb, and even glide over an expansive open world that evolves over time. Let's talk about Ready at Dawn. <laughs> Ready at Dawn has created one of the first made-for-VR franchises. They started with award-winning Lone Echo. It became one of the highest-rated titles among press and players alike. Then they expanded with Echo VR, which invited players into glorious zero-gravity battles in Echo Arena, and coming later this year, Echo Combat. What's next? Well, Jack and Commander Liv are back. Jack? Jack. Captain Rhodes, report to observation. Don't say a word. They can't know you're online. I promise I'll explain everything when I get back. I'm going to need your help. All the experiences you just saw are only possible with the power of Rift. We spent this past year rebuilding the Rift platform entirely from scratch. Last year, we revealed two of the major changes. Home has transformed from this static storefront to your personalized corner of the metaverse. We also introduced Dash, your new system interface, your command center that follows you throughout your journey and gives you full access to your PC desktop, all inside Rift. And we're excited to announce that the new Rift platform is rolling out to everyone starting today. <laughs> Home is now your space to fully personalize, thanks to hundreds of new items, decor, and environments. You can easily grab objects and place them wherever you want. As you can see, Home comes stocked with a huge catalog of items to show off your personality. But what's more personal than the games you love? And that's why we're introducing custom developer items. Devs have already created items from your favorite games, like Echo Arena, Super Hot, and Moss. And soon you'll be able to earn even more, or even custom clothing for your avatars. But to truly feel at home, you need to be able to share your space with friends. Today, you can invite your friends to come over and even set up a home theater. Now, these hangouts have to feel like you're really there with other people. That's why we revealed avatars in 2016. And since then, we've made them look more human. Many games like Brass Tactics and Poker Stars VR have already adopted our avatar SDK we added the most requested feature from devs, cross-platform support, so you can take our avatars everywhere you publish, including Steam. And we're not done yet. Hello again. I'm Will, and I'm delighted to present our new expressive avatars. The glasses are finally coming off so you can look into each other's eyes. With our research into simulated eye and mouth movement and micro-expressions, 
it feels so much more natural to interact in VR. The Oculus desktop app is now more personalized. Starting today, the mobile app supports Rift. Rift users, you'll get access to discover events, connect with friends, browse a store, and even remote install new games directly to your PC. We're already seeing people using Rift for work. Our platform has inspired many developers to build new use cases. And while not all desktop software has a VR version yet, Introducing hybrid apps. It's an entirely new way to bring 2D applications into VR. We partnered with Algorithmic Labs on an experimental version of Substance Painter. With hybrid app support, artists can move seamlessly from 2D into VR. As you can imagine, manipulating a model in 3D space is so much easier. And Dash automatically brings in all the UI so it's the same workflow. One app across desktop and VR. So now, let's take a look at Oculus Go, where entertainment is front and center. Oculus Go is the easiest way to get into VR. 80% of Oculus Go owners are new to our ecosystem. We've talked before about dynamic clocking, fixed foveated rendering, and 72 hertz support. And now we're enabling a hardware-based chromatic aberration correction so all apps on Oculus Go will look clear at the edges with no cost to frame rate. One title I'm super excited to play is Covert. It's a social co-op game where you and a friend pull off epic heists. While one player is in the headset, the other is on their mobile device, and it's a unique game mechanism that's tons of fun. We've heard from people over and over again that they want to experience games with friends. So, coming soon, casting. First, it's coming to mobile, and soon you'll be able to share the fun with multiple friends all at once right on your TV. We also hear from Oculus Go owners that they love using it to watch movies, concerts, and TV shows because Oculus Go feels like a personal theater. And I'm excited to announce that launching on Oculus Go is YouTube VR. YouTube VR joins the lineup of incredible media partners on Oculus Go. In May, we launched Oculus Venues, a new way to watch live concerts, sports, and more in a virtual stadium. Already, we've hosted more than 80 live events in Oculus Venues. NBA games are coming this fall. And everyone who attends an NBA game in Venues will unlock an NBA avatar jersey that's yours to keep and wear with pride for the rest of the season. From courtside seats to the virtual living room, Oculus Go is opening more eyes to the power of VR. Thanks. After unveiling Quest, we have now completed our first generation portfolio of VR headsets. And at Oculus, we're going to continue to invest heavily in technology for future generations of products on these three platforms.